This video will walk you through how to roster existing students and teachers to new or existing classes as an administrator. If you are needing to create new users, you will want to follow the steps in the Import Users Rosters, Creating New Users in Class Rosters article linked below. Once you have signed into your account, you may land on your teacher role if you have multiple roles assigned and you will need to switch over to your administrator role. From the Open Learning Platform, Click on your profile button at the top right of the page and select Administrator from the drop menu. If you land on the Connect Ed platform, you will want to click on the Admin Tools button at the top of the page. From your Admin Tools page, click on the Profile drop menu and select the correct organization. If you are an organization administrator assigned at the district level, you will want to select the district from the organization section on the menu. If you are a school administrator assigned to multiple schools, you will want to select the school you want to complete the import for. Keep in mind, the process of adding students, teachers, and classes through the Import Users Rosters tool is school specific. Click on Import Users Rosters from the navigation menu. If you selected the district from under Organizations on your profile drop menu, select the school from the drop down on the Import Users Rosters page you want to complete the import for. First, we will go over adding the users to existing classes. On the Import Users Rosters page, click on the Preferred File option under Export Teachers and Students. The file will contain all the teachers and students associated with the school you selected. If you want to only roster one or a few classes at a time, you can delete teacher and student rows from the file. However, do not make changes to the headers as this will cause file errors. Back on the Import Users Rosters page, click on the Preferred File option under Export Class List. This file will list all classes that are currently active for the selected school. Copy the class GUID, class ID, class name, class grade level, class start date, and class end date from the class export file for the class you want to roster. Paste the copied information into your user template for the primary teacher and all the students who should be rostered to that class. Do not make changes to the class GUID, as changes will prevent students and teachers from being assigned to the class. If the class ID is blank, you will need to enter one for each class. Every different class will need to have their own class ID. If a teacher is teaching multiple classes for the same product, or if they teach multiple classes with different products, refer to the How to Assign Multiple Core Products to a Class article for options. If you are wanting to upload the file at this time, you will then want to navigate to the Upload Template portion towards the end of the video. Next, we will go over adding the users to new classes. On the Import Users Rosters page, click on the Preferred File option under Export Teachers and Students. In the appropriate fields of the file, enter a class ID, class name, class grade level, class start date, class end date, and the master code for each student and teacher needing access to that class. The class GUID will be created by the system automatically for new classes to leave this blank. For a detailed explanation of each field, review the Import Users Rosters template instructions. In the Master Code column, enter the Teacher Edition Master Code for the teacher only and add the Student Edition Master Code for each student needing access to that program. For steps on finding the master codes needed, refer to the Admin Tools Manage Products article. In addition to entering the master code, some content requires a resource code to be entered into the import to ensure students are assigned to the proper course, such as Alex and Redbird. This is a four-character code in addition to the 16-character master code. For additional information on locating the resource codes, refer to the Admin Tools Manage Products article. For the class ID, you will need to enter one for each class. Every different class will need to have their own class ID. If a teacher is teaching multiple classes for the same product, or if they teach classes with different products, refer to the How to Assign Multiple Core Products to a Class article for options. If you are wanting to upload the file at this time, you will then want to navigate to the Upload Template portion towards the end of the video. You have the option to create new classes without rostering students to those classes, allowing teachers to manually roster the students. However, to do so, you have to roster a teacher to each class. First, we will go over creating new classes for existing teachers. From the Import Users Rosters page, download the desired file format for the Export Teachers and Students in blank template options. 
on the export teachers and students file, copy the user GUID, user ID, role, first name, last name, grade level, email, username, and password fields for the teacher you want to create the class for. On your blank template, paste the teacher's information into the appropriate fields. If the teacher needs multiple classes created, you will need to paste the teacher's information into a new row for each class. Enter the class ID, class name, class grade level, class start date, class end date, and master code for each teacher row. The class GUID will auto-generate by the system when the class is created, so leave this field blank. For the class ID, you will need to enter one for each class. Every different class will need to have their own class ID. In the master code column, enter the teacher edition master code. The student edition master code will automatically be added to the teacher's account. For steps on finding the master codes needed, refer to the Admin Tools Manage Products article. In addition to entering the master code, some content requires a resource code to be entered into the import to ensure students are assigned to the proper course, such as Alex and Redbird. This is a four-character code in addition to the 16-character master code. For additional information on locating the resource codes, refer to the Admin Tools Manage Products article. For teachers that do not yet have an account created, you can create them at the same time as creating their classes. From the Import Users Rosters page, download the desired file format for the blank template. On your blank template, enter each teacher's user ID, role, first name, last name, grade level, email, username, and password that you want to create a class for. The user GUID will auto-generate by the system when the class is created, so leave this field blank. If the teacher needs multiple classes created, you will need to paste the teacher's information into a new row for each class. Enter the class ID, class name, class grade level, class start date, class end date, and master code for each class you want to create. The class GUID will auto-generate by the system when the class is created, so leave this field blank. For the class ID, you will need to enter one for each class. Every different class will need to have their own class ID. In the master code column, enter the teacher edition master code. The student edition master code will automatically be added to the teacher's account. For steps on finding the master codes needed, refer to the admin tools manage products article. In addition to entering the master code, some content requires a resource code to be entered into the import to ensure students are assigned to the proper course such as Alex and Redbird. This is a four character code in addition to the 16 character master code. For additional information on locating the resource codes, refer to the Admin Tools Manage Products article. Finally, we'll go over the upload template process. Once your template file is complete, save the file on a location on your device that is easy to locate, such as your desktop. On the Import Users Rosters page, click the Choose File button and select the completed copy of the template from your computer. Click the Upload button. The page will automatically navigate to the Upload History page. Depending on how large the file is, time will vary on the upload process. The status of your import will reflect its current stage of processing. Queued means that the import will be processed as soon as possible but has not yet started. In progress means that the import has started processing. Completed means that the import completed successfully. Completed with errors means that a portion of the import was unable to be processed. Failed means that none of the import was processed. To check the status of your import, click the refresh button at the top right of the page. Once the file has finished processing, you can click the kebab icon to download the uploaded file, completed file, and error file. The uploaded file is the exact file that you uploaded, minus account passwords if you included those on your original file. It's available so that you can access it later if needed. The completed file is a summary of all student, teacher, and class information that was processed successfully. The error file is a summary of the students, teachers, and or classes that did not process. It shows the rows that triggered the error and the specific reason why these rows failed in the error column on the far right. Refer to the Import Users Rosters Errors and Resolution Steps document for details on each error received and how to resolve them. For additional resources on the import process, refer to the Import Users Rosters Resources article listed below. This concludes our look at rostering existing users to new or existing classes. Be sure to look at the other available help materials for more information about using your admin tools.